Okay, well, we've arrived at the uh, the Felix Resort. It backs onto the River Kwai. Um, we're only moments away from the bridge. Uh, this is one of the experiences, one of my bucket list experiences that I uh, I want to do. The actual story, the real story, not the uh, the Hollywood film. Is um, the Hollywood film is very different to what really happened. It was tragic what uh, really happened. I think in the film, um, the bridge, the River Kwai bridge they posted was uh, wooden. In fact, it's actually metal and uh, concrete. Um, amazing achievement. I will tell you more about it as we visit it. But uh, this is our room for a couple of nights. Oh, hello, yes, Mrs. Knight. Hello. Okay, how far are we from the bridge? Just 500 meters. 500 meters? Yes, yeah, 500 meters. Just real quick. River Quare, there, River Quare Beach, over there. The Americans say, and the English, and probably Australians too, call <laughs> it the River Quai. River Quai. But the real name is River Quai. Quai. It's the bridge over the River Quai. It's quite a weird feeling actually to think how many people died building this bridge. The bridge is metal, steel. The bridge was actually bombed, um, I think two of the uh, arches, I think number three or four and number seven were destroyed during the Second World War. Many of the prisoners of war were killed you know, by uh, by their own troops, by their own, by their own air forces. What many people don't know is that how many Chinese and Thai people also died. The um, the Japanese used to set up cinemas along along um, the little villages along here, and so they could go and see the latest films for free. Um, this is the shrine to the over there to the Chinese. But the Japanese used to then lock the doors and any male over 16 years old to about 60 were detained and taken to the war camp. Little kids fishing. The uh, colonel of the um, Japanese army actually um, had a hammer to bang in the last bolt into this bridge to commemorate the, uh, the achievement that they did, but it wasn't strong enough, it was useless. They had to use a prisoner of war to bang in the last, the last bolt. You think when the, um, when the prisoners of war, they were mainly English, Dutch, Australian, obviously some American and uh, but many many were Chinese and most of the labors laborers were actually from Thailand and even they they brought in the Koreans to uh, to actually help manage the prisoners of war but they the Japanese considered them inferior and beat up the prisoners of war when the colonel came to put in the last bolt on the bridge they uh, the uh, Japanese gave all the prisoners of war new outfits and food and shorts and as soon as the, uh, the colonel disappeared they took all the uniforms back and he just had a little loincloth. Some were just naked, just a pair of pants, no underpants and uh, yeah, it was terrible. What has she got in these bags? I don't know. What are they? Bao. Her too. Her too. Don't you? Okay. Okay, no, honey, no. She's vegan, honey. Okay, now. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. We're going to um, have some dinner at the restaurant here. We just crossed the track. Okay, so this is the restaurant we go to. 
tonight. Okay, well I'm at the restaurant um, overlooking the bridge of the River Kwai and uh, let's see what tasty things they have here. Um, I think I might go further. What is that then? River, river snails, local curry with frog, chicken with green banana. We can't wait until that ripens. Crispy catfish. Um, order me just a bit of chocolate. Honey, mate. Yeah, honey. You just eat steam rice, still rice. Yeah. Okay, this is walking on the bridge of the River Kwai. Going back to a hotel at night. Can't... <laughs> 